you get older, it gets harder and harder to stay in touch with your family. Luckily, some family members do what they can to keep in contact with you, but is that always for the best? Author Code V shows us the worst that can happen when grandma starts missing you. After a tiresome day at work, I was leaned back on my cheap couch with the TV remote in my hand as I absentmindedly browsed through the channels. I guess I had no intention of actually watching TV at all. Rather, I just wanted to waste some time until my dinner is finished cooking inside the microwave, the leftover steak from the previous day. I'm sure you can tell at this point that I'm a lower class being in the society. I never got to finish college, I work at a factory, which apparently doesn't pay much. And to add up to my misery, I'm also single, despite being 25 years old. Anyway, it was right around when I was browsing through the cartoon channels on my small television screen above a flat wooden table, my doorbell rang. Putting the remote down, I got up to answer it. It was the mailman holding a medium-sized package. After bringing that package inside, I had a bright smile on my face as I realized it was from my grandma, the only woman in my life that's still alive. I opened it hastily and saw a cute stuffed caterpillar toy, which was random. <laughs> but I didn't look too much into it, as the rest of my attention was on the letter on top of it. I took out that letter, along with the toy which was nicely made, and had some kind of solid object inside among the regular cotton stuffing. Placing it beside my TV on the table, I proceeded to read the letter. It basically said she took some time to get used to her new hobby and made the first doll for me. That same pleasant smile washed over my face. The next day, I got back from work again, a little early this time. Once again, I leaned back on my couch with the TV remote browsing the channels. The doorbell once again rang just as I switched to a news channel. It was, once again, the mailman with a similar package from my grandma. And this time it was a spherical toy with a smiley face. Just like the caterpillar, this one also had something solid inside along with the stuffing. I walked over towards the television to place the toy beside the caterpillar. Also, this time, there was no letter, which I didn't find odd at least not compared to the strange blood stain I noticed on the bottom of the doll which I was holding. But before I could even give it some thought, my attention was stolen by the television screen in front of me. It was my grandma's house being broadcasted live, and I only saw that one word in the headlines that made my heart pound. Homicide. The suspect has apparently been staying in the victim's house for the past two days, said the female reporter. And it's too graphic for us to show on a live broadcast. But it appears that the victim's left arm and her head have not only been severed, but they're also missing. My stomach turned as my eyes moved to the arm-like caterpillar doll on the table and to the face-like smiley doll on my hand. Some gifts do cost an arm and a leg after all. What a chilling story. If you want more like it, be sure to like this video and share it around to scare your friends. And subscribe and click the notification bell to stay posted on the next episode. Until then, stay creepy.